What's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome video. Today we're going to be working on the exterior of the Project Orange. Um, we're going to be working on the emblems. Um, we're going to do the conversion from Acura to Honda. Uh, we, are, we already started with the steering wheel which we converted uh, to the Honda already on one of the previous videos. So if you missed that one, make sure you watch it. So we're just going to jump right in it. We're going to transform this car from Acura to Honda. Um, how it should have been uh, from the beginning anyways. Um, but we're gonna go with the Honda emblems uh, that we do have on the website, so make sure you check it out if this is something that you're looking for. For the most part, guys, this is a straightforward installation. It takes a little bit of time, so make sure you prep the areas with uh, some rubbing alcohol. Make sure you remove any oils that uh, or any contaminants that are on the surface before you stick on these emblems. Otherwise, they're just gonna fall right off. You don't want your emblems falling off on the highway because obviously you're going to lose them. So make sure you take your time. So I'll show you all the parts that we're going to be using today. And as always, I'm going to leave everything in the description below so you can get yours if this is something that you're interested in. For the most part, all of us in the DC5 community, we do this conversion. Um, obviously, some of you do like the Acura, but that's okay. Everybody got their tastes and dislikes, which is understandable. Um, but either way, this car looks amazing with either emblem. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and put the Honda emblems on this car, and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna show you all the parts that I already have laid out. So let's jump right in it. Look what we have here. We got all the emblems laid out and all the parts that we're gonna be using today. Um, as always, guys, this is available on the website. Um, we're gonna go with the chrome Honda emblems in this case. We have the uh, rear Type S emblem. We got a brand new H for the back. We got the brand new Integra. And we have the uh, side decals as well, which is a great addition to this uh, installation. We got the front H and the front Type S emblem. So we sell this as a kit on the website. So make sure you check it out if this is something that you've been uh, looking for or, or waiting for. So the wait's over guys. We're gonna show you how to install all these emblems today, um, which is gonna be very helpful for many of you. Um, and I'm very excited to do this video for you guys. I've been waiting to do emblems on this car forever. So um, I've been waiting for this video myself. And also I'm gonna show you another part that we're gonna install today. We're gonna install the famous door sails as well. It's gonna be the perfect match for this installation. Um, like I said, guys, we're gonna convert this car uh, fully into Integra Type S, um, and it's gonna look amazing. I can't wait to throw these in on this car. So let's get started. We're gonna start by installing the front emblems. As you can see, guys, we already removed the front bumper, which is extremely easy. I, I'm sure you guys can do this on your own. So, and I've also shown this uh, part in other episodes so I'm sure you guys know how to remove the bumper by now so we're just gonna start on the front and work our weight to the rear of the car alright guys as you can see we have the brand new on the emblem right here with the bezel as well so it's a very straightforward installation just remove your Acura emblem which is held by two Phillips screws located in the back of the grill remove your bumper in order to access that um, and just like that guys reuse your uh, Phillip screws and throw in your brand new emblem. It falls right in place. This is a plug and play part which does not require any modifications. So just grab your screwdriver and tighten everything up in the back. Just like that guys, the emblem is on. Very simple, very straightforward. So next we're going to move on to this side and install the Type S front emblem. All right guys, now that we're done with the front emblem right here, which looks amazing already, uh, we're gonna throw in our Type S front emblem, which is right here. It is a plug and play part as well. It comes with a backing plate, and but uh, Honda does not include screws for the back of it. But once you buy it from our website, we're gonna include those uh, screws for free. Um, so it's very simple um, to do this, uh, this step right here. Just line it up within the slats right here, and everything bolts up really quickly and easy. So just pick your favorite or desired uh, location for it. I tend to put it lower because the, uh, the hood comes uh, around here and it blocks this area right here. So you want the emblem as slow as possible uh, so you can actually see it. So 
we're gonna find a location right about there make sure it's nice and level so you go in the back and install that back in plate all right guys so a closer look right here we got our Honda emblem in our type S and I'll show you the back side this is how the back side looks that's the front emblem right there and this is the back and plate so now that we're done installing these two emblems we're gonna move on to the door sills and I'll show you how to install those all right guys so now we're on the passenger side you're gonna grab your door sill right here there are labeled in the back and then a L for left so make sure you install them properly we have the R right here which is the right side so we're gonna throw this in very simple is held by a few clips right here um, it doesn't take much you just gotta put it in place and push them very simple push them in place so just gonna repeat the same step on the driver's side All right guys, so we're quickly moving on to the quarter panel right here. This is the driver's side. We have our Integra Type S decals. Uh, we do have two versions of them, so make sure you grab the correct ones for your specific uh, color, or you can just grab whichever you like best. Um, they're very easy to install. You just gotta find a nice uh, um, center line right here, and you peel the back, and then you just uh, lay it in place. Very simple. But before that, we're going to prep the area by uh, wiping it off with some uh, rubbing alcohol and a lint-free um, shop towel. Wipe the area. So next, we're going to find a center line for it. Um, this side is going to determine where you're going to lay your other side. So, you know, you don't have to stress it too much. Just pick a nice center line between the quarter panel end and this edge right here. Don't go too low. This is the body crease right here. So if you want to stay up like about an inch, inch and a half, that's perfect too. You don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low. Somewhere about this area. Another trick that you can do is grab some blue tape so you can have a, a helping hand per se. You can do something like this so you can actually you know, sit back and uh, eye where you're going to locate it. Um, right now it looks pretty good. We're probably going to move it a little bit to the left. Just like that. Check it out absolutely beautiful this is the passenger side we already did came out good that center I love the uh, black outline around the um, emblem itself definitely stands out on black colors driver side it just definitely sets off the car so much better I'm gonna set back a little bit so you can see it but it looks so much better guys all right guys, so we're quickly moving on to the rear of the car. We gotta install the Type S, the H, and also the Integra emblems. So we already did the front, the sides, and also the door sills. So this is gonna be the last part to this video. Um, so make sure you take your time and measure off like where you're gonna center this Type S emblem. I've seen uh, pictures online where people put them like up high, uh, closer to the lip spoiler, which is wrong. Uh, they put it too low or too close to the edge. You have to find the sweet spot in between this area right here. Um, and I'll show you that in this video. Um, after you set this one in place, you, we're gonna move on to the center um, emblem. Unfortunately, this car was repainted at one point 
and they filled up the uh, push pins on here but for you guys it's gonna be much simpler because you have a uh, two pins that uh, center the emblem itself so in this case I don't have them so I'm gonna have to uh, take a, my, a little bit of extra time to center that H um, luckily I do have another DC5 which is the blue one um, and I'm gonna um, you know take some measurements of that car so I can center my emblem and lastly we'll move on to the Integra emblem to install in that side so I'm just gonna roll this clip and I'll show you the full installation uh, of the rear emblems Just like that, the rear emblems are on. What a change, right guys? It looks absolutely stunning. Amazing how just uh, a change of emblems or emblem installation can transform the rear of the car. I absolutely love this. We got the Integra in here. We got the Honda. The type S. Beautiful. Now that we have the front end assembled, I'll show you the front. It looks so much better, guys. I absolutely love this car now that at least the front end is complete. That's gonna be a wrap up for this video. I hope you found it super helpful now that you um, see how you can do your front emblems and all the way around. Um, it is a simple installation and a simple uh, mod that it's gonna upgrade your car tremendously. Um, absolutely love the finish work and the fit and finish is absolutely perfect. So I hope you found this video super helpful and informative. This is definitely a highly requested video that um, I get a lot of questions on. People asking how, how to do this type of installation and where to get the emblems. As always guys, you can get the emblems right on our website. Everything's linked below, so make sure you check it out. Um, I always link all the parts that we use on these videos on the links below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and we appreciate all the support that you always give us in every single video. Um, all that's appreciated and it never gets overlooked. If you have any questions, make sure you send us an email through our website. We're always there to help you. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and until the next one, peace.